It is nightfall. Right now I'm in a mental slumber, or rather a psychic snow globe, if you will. In reality, I'm probably in some cheap, run-down hotel trying to escape from all society's madness. Now, we both know that using that method doesn't end very well for me, but it's far better than falling in and out of love, or maintaining ugh, the peace between humanity and mutant kind. But enough of that. Let us ponder into my thoughts, shall we? I'm lying down in my diamond throne, wearing my cowgirl outfit that I had when we fought against the worthy some time ago. As Marilyn Monroe once said, diamonds are a girl's best friend. The only thing is, they don't really make much for conversation. And contradictory to what you might have heard, they don't last forever. So, I'll change the scenery to whatever destination I desire, the only restriction being my own imagination. Based on what I'm wearing, perhaps the countryside would be a good destination for me. No traffic. No stalkers. Another wide open space you could ask for. Now the scenery is a giant field, with haystacks laid about, and a small stable out in the distance. For once in a long time, I feel free. I stroll through the field, making my way to the stable. I don't think I've ever ridden a horse since I was... sixteen or seventeen, while living with my parents and siblings in the Frost Mansion. It was always a good way of relieving stress whenever something or someone was troubling me, particularly my father. With luck, maybe there will be a fine stallion awaiting me as my companion. I'm at the front of the stable now, and what do I find but a cow munching on some hay, and apparently a little bigger than me. Is someone tampering with my thoughts in some way? Or is the circumstance just a little too arbitrary? Either way, it didn't matter. Any animal companion is better than nothing, even if it was just a cow. I walked over, started moving my hand gently on the bovine's head. Hello, darling. I didn't expect to see you in a place like this. What brings you here, pray tell? Once I open the stall, the cow slowly walks out, saddle on its back and sways its head towards the saddle. Oh, I see. You want me to ride you, is that right? The cow nudges my body. Clearly it has been stuck with nothing to do. Just like me. Can't really say I blamed the poor thing. We could both use a little excitement. Though I haven't ever ridden a cow before, what does this stop me? Without hesitation, I cut the cow with a set of reins and lead her out of the stable. Now I prepared to mount my bovine companion to set off. Easy, darling. Shh. Easy, girl. Steady now. Once I had gotten comfortable, I grasped the reins and started motivating my cow to strut slowly to get used to having me on her back. We pass through a gate and follow a small trail through the woods. Good girl, I said as I patted the cow on the neck. A few minutes later, further in, the cow stops suddenly and lets out a long moo. I gather my surroundings within the forest and get a whiff of a slightly unpleasant scent of cow poof. I turn around on the saddle and notice my pet has left a small present behind. Oh dear, I sighed. You really are a naughty girl, aren't you? Perhaps we need to get you into proper shape while we're here. I give my cow a gentle kick in the sides to motivate her to go faster. Come on, darling. Yeah, yeah. We're now galloping through the woods until we reach a clearing back to the field that I ended up in before. There are a few hurdles now, and now I decide to turn this ride into a private equestrian training session, as if I were teaching my students back in the day. I never tried this with a cow before, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. Come on then! Yeah! Yeah! A bovine steer lets out a long moo as you jump the first hurdle. As expected, her large udder knocks it over. But as time passes, we eventually improve. Well, this is satisfying. Now, what is it that those cowboys usually say when they get exhilarated? Oh, yes. Yeehaw! It was so unlike me to utter something like that out loud. Oh, well. Thank God no one was around to hear that. 
Anyway, we eventually went back to the stable to get some well-deserved rest after a good workout. I jumped down from the saddle and unequipped my ride, and the cow mooed again while moving his tail towards its udder. I was actually getting thirsty, and milk may be just what I need. I suppose a drink wouldn't be too much to ask. I come under the cow's belly and started sucking on her udder. This is a little disgusting, I thought. On the other hand, I suppose it beats dealing with Logan's bad B.O. Plus, I seemed to enjoy it even more, and so did my pet. After I drank my fill, I massaged my hands once more around my cow, and bid my adieu. She licks my cleavage to show her affection. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I haven't been in a workout like this in a while. Before departing my cerebral destination, I kiss my companion on the muzzle, and wake up again to face reality. <laughs>